इन्फो प्लस फॉर जेनुइन इन्फर्मेशन दर्शन आज को कार्यक्रम में कार्यक्रम इन्फो प्लस यूनिट ने होटल एकेन एति में संचालन अमेरिकन शैक्षिक मेला रहाँसंग संबंधित विभिन्न गतिविधि हमें रिपोर्ट मार्फत प्रस्तुत करना लगा सौ रशबिन एक्सक्लूसिव हिसाब से हमें अमेरिकन दूतावास की प्रवक्ता एनडी संग को कुरा प्रस्तुत करतीम हो हमी अमेरिका में अध्ययन करें आया रहा कहीं काम करें आपको नाम कमाई सकता व्यक्ति को भनाई भी सवेश कर अमेरिका सहभागिता जनावन का लगी आया यूनिवर्सिटी प्रतिनिधि को भनाई भी यह रिपोर्ट में प्रस्तुत कर लगा सौ इन्फो प्लस नमस्ते लगभग एक महीना दर्शमिन आ रिपोर्ट प्रारंभ कर रिपोर्ट में हमी अमेरिकन दूतावास की प्रवक्ता को भनाई रक्त शैक्षिक मेला में देखिए माहौल कस्तु थो तो संग देखा अब को रिपोर्ट इन्फो प्लस out that American higher education is the best in the world. That that is not disputed. Um and the other thing is that we have so many options. In the US we have almost 5000 different colleges and universities. So we understand for a foreign or international student it can be overwhelming, but there's lots of good options. And uh today's education fair is one way to get students connected with universities in the US. Today we have almost 20 American college uh colleges and universities here and they're able to talk to Nepali students firsthand and answer their questions. We also have our Education USA uh, officials with us from USEAF and we provide quality advising for free and they get official and good uh, accurate information. So we want to make sure students know they don't need or shouldn't use consultancies. They should get free and accurate information from the experts. Um and Nepalis are very successful at studying in in the United States. Last year alone almost 10,000 Nepali students were studying in America. It's one of the highest per capita in the world and the highest per capita total in South Asia. Um and that's something Nepali should be really proud of. You're sending quality students and that's what we want to help in that process. We want to make sure that the right students, you know, go and study in the United States so that they can be successful. We want to make sure they're matched up with the right universities and they get the right information. From our standpoint at the American Embassy, we are very vocal about students not needing to use consultancies. Our very own ambassador, Ambassador Teplitz, wrote an op-ed that was in the newspapers yeah, here yeah, in Nepal, yeah. saying, "Don't go to the consultancies. They don't have your best interests at heart. They're charging fees for information you can get from for free from Education USA. Also, you don't know about the quality, the gunasariya of the of the information. We want to make sure it's high quality and accurate, official information. And that's where USEF and Education." in USA come in to help advise and guide students and that's Nishulka that is free and uh they they'll find the best sources of information there I definitely think there's a huge value in fairs like this and I have to be honest we have fairs when there's a demand from American universities you know in the past I heard that a big fair had about 6 universities from America now today we have about 20 in February there's going to be one that has 50 to 70 American colleges and universities because you can see there's a rising demand for American university um information and the opportunities there and Nepali students are also increasingly going to America and so college and universities are paying attention to that. So one of the colleges here went from having zero Nepali students to 15 Nepali students and maybe this year we'll have 70 Nepali students. So that's that's a good thing for both American education um system and the universities there and it's a great thing for Nepali students. So we think these are extremely beneficial. Okay. Every year we uh put out what's called the open doors report and that's where we get the numbers from students going. And I think that's a good thing to keep in mind. Open doors. The doors are open for Nepali students to travel have legitimately to the United States to study. We want to make sure that um we are facilitating legitimate travel in every way. Student visa processing here in Nepal has not changed. The same laws, the same requirements are in place, and that's why we want to make sure that it, uh, students have the information they need to make the right choice. And American education isn't for everyone. We know that. That's just a reasonable assumption. 
but we want to make sure that the great and talented Nepali students get the correct information and have the opportunity to travel and study in the United States. have mini fairs sometimes. Uh, we just finished one earlier this week in Pokhara, for example. We also have a very vibrant social media, you know, from the embassy, from USEF. Um, so we encourage people to follow our Facebook, follow our Twitter, make sure they're getting information on scholarship opportunities, on fairs like this, and on ways to connect. We also have American corners and American spaces throughout the entire country of Nepal. So from Dungari to Elam and, and everywhere in between. Um, so we want people to come and visit the American spaces and they can also get you connected with the Education USA information and the information that will help students prepare and see about applying to study in the United States. Well, I'm just so happy to be in Nepal. Uh, my family is already feeling so welcomed here, and I'm so encouraged by meeting all these young Nepalis today. They have so much energy, they have so much enthusiasm, and you know, it's inspiring to hear their goals and their plans. And you know, I'm hoping uh, that I'll get to meet lots more Nepalis during my time here. I've only just arrived, and I just feel already such hospitality and such a warm welcome. So, Derai Danyavad, thank you. Info Plus. Darshwin Abuko Kramma Hami Prastud Garde Son Ti Bekti Haruko Salaha Ya Bhanai Josli America Ka Pratishtit Vishwa Vidyala Ma Adhen Garnu Bhaya र नेपाल में आएर हाल आफ्नो नाम कमाई रनु है गुसा दर्श बिन वाहरले अमेरिका जाना चाहने विद्यार्थीहरु का लागी कोस्ट सल्ला दिनु है गुसा उक्त एजुकेशन फेयर मा हमले ती व्यक्तिहरु को बनाई ऑन द स्पर्ट समावेश करेगा सों दिखाऊं देशो वाहर को बनाई इनफो प्लस यदि फाइनेंशियली र इंटेलेक्चुअली I was blindly on the car of Hargin, and I planned to get a plan. I was like, I'm going to get a plan. 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 और को पूरा होने को अब तमाही नेपाले फॉर केरा फेरी गाना चाहना उनसा होने भी नहीं लोड एक्सपोज़र भी नहीं उनसा तेरा हमरे हो अमेरिका में जानसु अब नेपाल बटा फुट करने पारो जानसु में बाहरा बाहने अर्थ बटा होइने की महिले लाइफ में क्या अचीव करने को लागी हो की न जानु पाने अमेरिका पहले प्रश्न तीर सो देना जानु हो साई ना अमेरिका बने बताइए क्या जाने हैं देरे ठुलो मार्केट्स आ देरे अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ जरूर सम त्यो बने रहा था हमले हम फाल पहला बने को अमेरिका में गयो पढ़े रह आये बने ने � अपने कंसल्टेंसी ने धायर जाने बंदा बने आप हम मेहनत कर रहा आप हुले हेर रहा कुन यूनिवर्सिटी कुन प्रोग्राम तेरे को त्यां कस्ते स्कोप सा त्यों नेपाल में फर्क करा आऊं धायर को कस्तों उनसे यदि नेपाल फर्क नहीं इच्छा सा बने त्यों चीज को पर पहला आप हुले एक्सरसाइज करों सब पे काम आप नो उसे कंसल्टेंसी लात ऊपर रह रहे हैं हमें तेरा तीरो बंदा के लिए आप हु का सरे बनने बनने पार्ट में चाहिए ना कलाई के सब पे एक्सप्लोर गरे रह मात्रे जानो उस पहला जाना के लिए नहीं रत्तियां जाना के लिए उनको वर्षा क्रांति यूनिवर्सिटी में जाना खोज में हो इनफो प्लस दर्शन साइसिक मेला में अमेरिका का विभिन्न विश्वविद्य ती प्रतिनिधि हरुले अंतर्राष्ट्रीय विद्यार्थी हरु खास गरी नेपाल लगाये विभिन्न देश हरु बाटो जस्से विद्यार्थी हरु जान्छन और धेरै विद्यार्थी हरुले अमिलाई प्रश्न बनी सोधने का नुन्छ तेस्ता यूनिवर्सिटी और मां अंतर्राष्ट्रीय विद्यार्थी हरुले कसरी स्वागत गरिन्छ उन्हेर कलाई अब देखा होता है इसमें वहाँ को बनाई। Info Plus। The university level, of course, um, are um, concerned about a lot of the rhetoric um, that uh, exists, but we really do as much as we can to support our international students. Campuses across the United States 
um, are very welcoming places. We value our international students so much. They're such an important part of our culture and our community that we really try to do everything um, to support them, including at the very highest levels of the administration of our university has uh, made very strong statements uh, in support of international students and immigrants of all types um, coming to the United States. So I guess um, the, the number one thing would be that students need to make sure that they're doing their research about where they're going so they understand what kind of environment they're going into. Uh, we have over 4,000 universities in the United States and they're all very different. Some are large cities, some are small towns, some are public, some are private. So making sure that they know where they're going and that they're going to be comfortable in that environment. Um, I also would say that um, any university that a student would go to has a good uh, campus community. So regardless of where they are in the United States, you know that your child is going to be well supported and there's going to be other people there to help take care of them. Uh, they're not going to be just dropped off and be left alone halfway around the world.